but with Hacker 0007, in today's video, I will be doing a website overview and a Chrome extension review on Wikiwand. Wikiwand has a slogan that basically sums up the website perfectly. Good old Wikipedia, great new look. So Wikiwand is a website that has all the articles that Wikipedia has, except they're in a nicer look. So for, for example here, we can take the slider and look between the current NASA Wikipedia page and their NASA Wikipedia page. As you can tell, there's a nice table of contents, big header images, and overall it's a nice looking website. They have a lot of cool things, and if you actually go on the website, the website is very nicely designed. You can scroll through and see some of the things. For example, there's optimized for good font size, um, it's easier to navigate with a powerful search, table of contents that goes down with you, and you can uh, even preview and hover if you have the Chrome, that extension as well. They also claimed for it to be faster if you have the Chrome extension. I'm not 100% sure on that part, but even though if, even if it's slower, in my opinion, it's still worth it. So I'm going to kind of show you guys some of the things here. So if you want to try out Wikiwan without the actual Chrome extension, uh, Wikiwan is a website. You can see so you actually go to the website and go to the search and look up an article. So for example, we could look up something like volcanoes. And a little volcano, as you guys can tell right here, there's a nice big image of a volcano. And as we scroll down, we have information about the volcano. All this information is on the exact same um, art article as the volcano page on Wikipedia. It's just organized a bit differently. Now, if you're like me and you have the hover extension installed, which I had in my one of my previous videos, my top five Chrome extensions. When you put your mouse over a link, it'll kind of give you a very small preview of it. So if you have the hover extension, which is a really awesome extension, um, this is another cool add-on the website offers. Now at the top, you can click this little action bar here and the table of contents will show up. So you can scroll through the page and the table of contents will stick with you. If you put your mouse over the table of contents and scroll, it'll scroll through the table of contents without scrolling the rest of the page. The table of contents works very well. You can go through different sections, and when you click on a certain area, it will simply scroll down to that area with a little pulse on the words to notify you where it is. Overall, though, I really like Wikibon's website. Um, as you guys can tell too, as you're scrolling, it kind of gives you a highlighted area what section you're in. So like I said though, you can use Wikiwan as a separate website. So you can use it like this and simply search for things you want to search um, on, the, on the website. So for example, if you want to do Google Glass, you guys can see here, we can scroll down nicely. But I think the big advantage of this website is when you install their Chrome extension. So I'm going to show you guys that now. If you head over to Wikiwan on the Chrome store, which I'll also have in the description below, you can simply go ahead and install it. Now, I've been using this for about a month now, and I overall extremely like it. So here we go. All the Wikiwan extension does is basically every time you click a Wikipedia link, instead of bringing you to Wikipedia, the traditional one, it'll bring you to the Wikiwan version of it. So if we type in Android Wikipedia on Google, it's going to give us this Wikipedia link, which is the traditional Wikipedia. Now, if we click on it, instead of going to the traditional Wikipedia, we're going to go to the Wikivon version. And that's simply what the Chrome extension does. Every single time you go to a Wikipedia link, it brings you to, the, to their website instead, so you can get the enhanced version. And all the same things apply. Now, of course, if you hit back, you go back to Google, and you can just continue on browsing. So if you go to a different Wikipedia page, again, it will reroute you to the Wikivon Wikipedia page. Now, some of the less popular articles aren't as picture-filled. So as you guys can tell right here, there's no huge header, but for most of them, there are uh, things that are kind of less popular that don't have a lot of pictures, uh, maybe a little more bland than others, but they all have the nice table of contents. And I'd say what 90% of them do have lots of pictures and a big header photo. Overall, though, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. I'll have all the links you need for anything you see in this video in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.